to try something new if you don't mind. Ah, cinnamon, 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 cinnamon! You will enjoy art and you will make something in a kiln your mother can use. Mm. Maggie, why'd you do that? Oh, I just came in to take out the three. And you shall leave immortal. And you shall leave immortal. Also, take out the trash. Honest. Inspiring. Is necessary. Oh, Milhousian. Oh. Also, take out the trash. Honest. Inspiring. Is necessary. Oh, Milhousian. Oh, oh, it's wonderful. Really? Wonderful? I just drowned a grasshopper in paint and let him crawl on the paper till he died. You know what that's called? Mixed media conceptual art. No, it's not, because I hate art. Oh, then it's protest art. Stop encouraging me. I would admire you from afar. Get out the water, you gonna yeah. die! In the final moments of his life, 32-year-old Jamel Dunn was laughed at, made fun of, and taunted. Coco police saying five boys ages 14 to 16 watched him drown at Bracco Pond Park without even calling 911. They did nothing to help him. Nothing more than recording the drowning on a phone. The teens getting their biggest laughs when Dunn screams and goes under. This man ain't getting back up. Yeah, he, yeah, he did. Let he go. Uh, horrified by what we saw. Police wanted to seek charges against the heartless witnesses, but under state law, the teens did not have to rescue Dunn or call police. Short of them pushing him in the water, we don't have anything that can hold them accountable on a criminal level. Police say Sunday the 9th, Dunn walked into the pond by himself. Police aren't sure if he was suicidal, but they say he just had an argument with his fiance. Dunn was not found until Friday last week, his body badly decomposed. Five days after police say the teens could have done something to save his life. Do you think it's a shame you can't bring criminal charges against well, these teenagers? Well, it, it's certainly unfortunate. And for these kids to just do what they did and video and be laughing about it, it's just, it's, it's just mind-boggling. Police say they discovered the video as it emerged on social media again here at the state attorney's office. 
Investigators say the boys will not be charged. In Brevard County, I'm James Sparvero, News 6. What are you doing here? Training for the Olympics. I gotta find a way to get rid of my art teacher. What are you doing here? Training for the Olympics. I gotta find a way to get rid of my art teacher. Is a voodoo. Is a voodoo. Is a voodoo. Is there a voodoo queen you can drive me to? Oh yeah. She lives in a trailer down by yogurt land. Now kiss me. I want to make somebody mad. Mm, wow. Mm, mm, mm. What's my no good daughter up to now? Now you have everything you need for the voodoo. Would you like a bag? Yes, ma'am. Paper or plastic? Uh, plastic? Just like a chicken would say you would. Okay, did you get Trunch's DNA? Yeah, got it out of her purse. <laughs> How'd you do that? Our teachers don't have a desk. They just throw their purse anywhere. Voodoo spell, voodoo spell, seagull beak and bone of mel, purple heart and tear of chum. Ugh. Just had to be tear of chum. Send her home with a king tongue. I had to go upstairs and go to sleep. Now, me and my brother shared a room at that time. We had twin beds in the room. And he was into some other stuff, I should say, you know, uh, dealing with some friends that they were trying to cast spells and do voodoo magic and stuff. So my brother had this shelf in his room that had all these scrolls and, uh, all types of weird stuff, brass pots and candles carved into people and stuff. So, I never liked any of that stuff. But that night, I went to bed. And I looked at that shelf before I went to bed. And I passed out. Only to be awoken by a really faint light blue light in the room. seeing much of Trunch today. Yep, I cast a voodoo spell on her. I won't bore you with the dark details, but let's just say she's in no condition for teaching. <gasps> oh, class, I have an announcement. I'm afraid I can't teach today. I have a tummy ache. Hmm, a very special tummy ache. I'm going to have a baby! <gasps> ah, Bert Simpson got a teacher pregnant! <laughs> Typical Ralph nonsense. <laughs> Bart Simpson got a teacher pregnant. Happy with your two-timing boyfriend now? I admit, I did make a voodoo doll of Mrs. Trunch, but I just asked for a stomachache, not a baby. Classic wishmaker's mistake, vague language. So I did make her pregnant? Of course not. It doesn't work that way. Just how do women get babies? Not allowed to discuss that with fourth graders. Fifth grade, you get every dirty detail. Do you know how embarrassed I was to get a call at my arraignment for my behavior during the pub crawl because of a voodoo curse my son placed on his art teacher? I didn't mean to make her pregnant. I just hate art so much. Oh, it oh but it'll cost you. How much? Five dollars plus one dollar ha ha insurance. Trust me, the insurance is worth it. By the power of this place, make a baby with a face. That's great, really. Really glad we're getting a baby with a face. Thank you. <laughs> ha! No, ha, ha It worked! Hmm. I'm pregnant! Look, Bart, I really, I can't believe there's a connection here, but uh, we have some friends who are in the same dark place that we were. Can we give them your name? Only if they have five dollars. Yes, right. I'll make sure that they have five dollars. 
with them? Look, I'm sorry I checked those, and then I can have the bank teller call you. Just give me the cash, and you'll get your driver's license back. Please keep the chatter down while the blue wizard is casting his spells. Funds are appreciated. Barbecue sauce and teddy bear's eyes. They want a baby. Aren't those full of jerks?
Satan. What are you doing? Trying to summon the devil. Why? Nothing good on TV. We have no boyfriends. We're bored. Something to do. Hail Satan, the minister of sinister. Rude dude with a bad suit. <laughs> Save us, Marge. We'll never make fun of any man you date or marry. Um, uh, Mr. Demon, mm. could you come back for my sisters later? <sighs> Very well. You have 30 years. But when I return, Marge, I shall take your favorite child. I thought I was the favorite. Uh-huh. Not the favorite, not the favorite. Listen, pal, you seem like an honest guy. Mm. Is there any other deal that you can accept? Three-way. Hmm. You, me, and Marge? Mm. Demon, demon, you. Uh, I guess it's one of those things a dad has to do. Now, before we start, what's the safe word? Cinnamon. Ooh, I like that. Now, I'd like to try something new, if you don't mind. Ah, cinnamon. Cinnamon! 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 Hey, your dinner. <laughs> Thank <laughs> you.